Kenny Stills saw football not only as a way out, but a means to uplift. In the offseason, his focus extends beyond the field, where he uses his platform as an athlete to unite communities. For Kenny, this is where passion meets purpose. As a professional athlete, we only have so much downtime. Once the season finishes, then I can start to explore other fields and, and really see what's happening you know, throughout our country and how I can make a difference. Sports really helped me at a young age because uh, whatever I was doing with at home, I got to use football as my outlet to, to kind of release that anger. And As a young person, uh, I was very inspired by Junior Seo. It was really important for him to make people understand and realize that he was just a regular guy. I'm one of five, or one of eight, really, but my mom had five kids, and I'm the last of hers. And the first thing, you know, I had, I did when I got her was pay, paid off her debt. I got her a house. I got, I got her, you know what I'm saying? I accomplished what I, what I got to the league for, and that was to take care of my family. And so I started to try and figure out, you know, what my real purpose was. And I think it kind of just fell into my lap. For me, it's about helping other people, and how do we do that? And so, um, well, this is this is where you we need a whole lot yeah. more. You, and yeah. Right. You know, as, as soon as the narrative tried to switch to against police, I found myself working with police officers doing ride-alongs. I feel like that's the most important part, right? Is like people, you know, see the protests, see me getting on a knee, then might not really understand why. But I've done so much to put more information out and explain myself and then get in the community and work with the people that they try to pit me against and show that it's not about that. And so uh, really just leading by example and with my action. For 16 days after the football season, Kenny journeys through the country on a mission to connect with people on the ground about ways to improve neighborhoods, seek justice, and provide mentorship. This work, the desire to unite, comes from the heart. It was important for me to jump into this trip right away because this is the most important you know, work for me outside of ball. The deep underlying purpose of this trip is really, I guess, two parts, unifying and educating. Uh, educating myself, educating others, and then, you know, bringing us all together. Like, y'all are the leaders, y'all are the ones that want to see change, y'all are, are the conscious ones seeing what's happening. So lead yourself, you know what I'm saying? And people like me can help, like, uplift your message from, from Florida and from California and my other teammates. Like, we see the work that you're doing, and then I can help, you know what I'm saying, make that even bigger. There are other people doing similar types of work, and if we can all connect with each other, and, and band together, uh, we can be stronger with our voices. You know, I'm inspired by the people that I see on this trip. You know, I would definitely say that the work that we all are doing collectively is inspiring. There's a space for young people to get involved and, and use their voice and really make change. You know, when you're in the school system and your teacher claims you are a bad kid, you're probably not a bad kid, they just don't understand that you're different from other students that they've probably had in the past. For us to unite, it's, it's going to take us spending time to listen. It's easy to get out and tell people what you think and your opinion, but you know, I feel like the more that we listen to each other, the more that we have a chance to connect. And once those doors are broken down, then we can really make progress. For me, I'm going to do everything in my power to educate others and then try and get involved and make a difference. The desire to be united, I think, is the first step into making, you know, going in that direction or making that progress. The next step, really, is the action. I genuinely want to meet other people that are different than me. I genuinely want to learn about other religions and want to learn about other cultures and because I'm interested in that. I think at our core, everyone wants to be loved, and so just understanding and realizing you've got to put love out there to get love back. And that's how we really come together. That's how we unite, is by putting love out there, loving each other. I guess that's my message.